hi and welcome to the channel today i'll be doing an in-depth tutorial on how to create stunning wall art that sells using chat gpt midjourney ai and canva we'll be covering five steps one would be to do idea research using chat gpt and then we'll be doing an in-depth niche research on the etsy platform we would move over to Mid Journey where we'll be generating the art and use Canva to put the designs together. And finally, I'll be showing you how to open your Etsy store, get 40 free listings, make your listings, and start making their sales. So this video is value packed, so do not skip and make sure you watch till the end. So with that being said, let's get started. Alright, so the first step would be to do idea research in ChatGPT. So we'll just come to ChatGPT and we're just going to say, give us potential niches when it comes to wall art, since that's the product we're focusing on today. So we'll just hit enter and it's going to give us some niches that we could possibly do in-depth research on. So it's saying abstract art and it's giving you examples, which is very good. So you know exactly what you are you know researching about so it has landscape animal art popular niche. this is another popular niche featuring illustrations of paintings of various animals cityscape pop art contemporary art customized art okay so if you don't find any um niche you're interested in here you could always say add more but from this breakdown is giving us animal art and i would like to focus on this animal art for this video so now we have an animal art we could say um it's a featuring dogs cards horses birds so what we could do is we just want to focus specifically on woodland animals or if you choose you could do safari or you know farm animals depending on what you want so let's just say give me um list give me a list of woodland animals okay so it's gonna give us a list so we'll be using this later on okay so we have a list already you can just choose to expand it but we have a list already so now we have an idea of the different niches we could research on and we want to focus on the animal art now we'd we'll move over to Etsy to start doing that research so for this step i'll be explaining two methods one would be the free method and the other would be the paid um, method you could use for the research so for the free method you come to the search bar at the very top like i've mentioned in other videos when you are typing something into any of these marketplaces it kind of gives you an idea of what people are searching for so let's just type in wall art you could see he's giving us ideas so let's just type in wall art and see what the result would be so when you type in wall art you're looking at what is the total search results so so you have an idea how competitive this um, niche could be so you could see this has over 9.9 .9 million results including ads so this is a very high competitive um keyword or niche so you would really need to niche down okay so let's go in and say so say for living room before we add our animals since we want to do an animal art so let's say what we'll are living room to see what the result is so this is still high this is 4.7 million so let's just say um animal here okay let's see what the results are gonna be so this is 583,000. this is still a lot okay but we'll, let's dig deep, deep a little bit so let's look at one of the listings so we have this so we just open it up so this list is showing highland cow okay so when you're looking at each of these listings what you want to look out for is what are the reviews and look go to the reviews and see what people are saying to know how it's selling okay or how it's not then also you want to look out for 
how they are putting their pictures together, the sizes, what are the materials they're using, so you know what to do for your own wall art. So let's look at the review and see what is the most recent review they have. So we sort by most recent. Um, they had a review just 11 days ago. People said this, my print is beautiful, came quickly, packaging was great. So you read through, try to understand what people like and what people don't like, and you try to you know avoid what people don't like or make yours better okay then um, let's just look at some of their pictures to see how it looks they have a video so you could see how they presented this okay so this comes in a mock-up background showing you in your living room how it's going to look like so when we are creating our art we're still going to use a mock-up so you could see how to place place your own art as well to look attractive like this so that's for the free method the other things you need to dig deep but because we are dealing with a very high competitive niche let's look into a tool that i like using which is called e-rank e-rank is a tool for research specifically for um, etsy um, platform to research your keywords see what is working and is what is not working so when you come to e-rank oh, but before we dive into e-rank e-rank has a free plan so you could use this to do um, your in-depth research but if you want to see more analytics you might need to pay for like the paid plan but you could use your free plan just to start to see what's going on at the back end so let's you go to tools and choose key keyword explorer and let's just type in wall art at the very top so this gives us a bit of a breakdown so let's just walk through it so you could see at the very top it says trend a lot this keyword has been popular on Etsy over the past week Basically, this keyword has been a popular keyword for a very long time. So you could see how the competition is very high. But before we get to the competition, let's see what the average search in the US is. So as you could see 108,000 searches per month, which is good. The click through rate is 94, 95%, but the competition is brutal. So you could see here the countries where you have the majority of the traffic coming from. So you could see United States, United Kingdom, Canada, and other countries okay so let's look and see how we could find in the competition something that is green or a mid competition or even in the red zone how to see how to play around it so you could see this is moss wall art so we're not looking at moss it's not a painting let's go down so islamic wall art so you could look into this if if that's your niche um three piece so this gives you an idea of some keywords you could also use so to narrow it down so specifically it's saying three piece wall art so when you are making your woodland animals you could make three pieces and offer it as a bundle and you could even charge more for it and you would you know have more better chance of being found okay okay so this um is a way you could use the tool then you could dive deep deep in to start breaking it down if you're enjoying this video so far and finding value, please smash the like button and subscribe. So the next step is generating our art in mid journey. But before we start typing in our prompt, we need to know what is the size of the images we are generating to help us. And then we also need to make images that stand out. So when people see our listings, they're going to click on it. So before we move over to making the prompts, let's we can look at it as per ratios me journey have i will quickly go to etsy to see the dimensions we want to create for so me journey in terms of aspect ratio has four by five two by three four by seven one by one which is almost a square seven by four three by two so depending on the type of um art you want to create so we're making two by three but let's quickly go to um itsy and see different aspect ratios so at the very top you could say wall art size okay so let's just click into one let's just click into this one okay so you could see different aspect ratios so this is two by three so, so we'll choose one of these but basically our pictures would be two by three in terms of the aspect ratio let's move over to mid journey okay so in the mid journey remember that we have gotten a list of all of the animals we want to work or uh, generate art for so let's look at generating art 
or um wolf so we'll just type in here imagine then type in and say mystery wolf art aspect ratio two by three and hit enter okay so it has generated an image for us let's see let's just upscale all of them and see the ones we like okay so it has generated our images so let's see it doesn't look bad let's look at this one we just also want to make it stand out let's not look basic okay so we're just going to add a more sophisticated prompt to see what it's going to give us so we say imagine okay and we're going to say mystery mystic blue wolf art and in the form of oil painting style the same aspect ratio and enter so it has gone ahead to generate four images for us so you could see this so i've gone ahead to upscale one and three to see how it looks okay it's okay but i don't like this so this is another one so you could go ahead and generate multiple ones so there's another one i generated as well so let's see how this looks this looks really unique so so you see how this looks this looks really really cool and i'm gonna have to save some of these images okay so these are other ones i generated this looks really stunning if i just see this i'm definitely gonna buy it okay so i've gone ahead to save all these pictures so we'll move into canva and start putting everything together so what would determine whether you're going to use canva or not is how you decide to offer your product so if you want to offer your product in such a way that your customers get to download the images by themselves and then make a print in a print shop then you could put together those images in canva but if you want to offer it in such a way where it's a print or demand format where if a product is purchased the print or demand company prints the product and send it to the customer then you might not need to use canva you might not need your images you just need to make sure they are upscaled to the right size but for this demo we'll be doing um, a format where you offer printable um, files to your customer to download and make prints for themselves so you we'll come to the home screen and click on create a design and choose custom size so we already know the aspect ratio we want to use because we're using two by three so we're going to choose a um, couple of sizes within that um aspect ratio so we change this to inches and the first one we'll be doing is 16 by 24 and we say create new design okay so it opens up a blank sheet for us i'm gonna head to upload all the images so let's choose the one we're going to use so we click on this and say set as background so it fills this or so let's make sure the nose is not cut off so this is 16 by 24 so if you want to offer multiple sizes all you need to do is come to resize and change the inches so let's say we want to make another size within the two by three aspect ratio so say 12 by 18 you just click copy and resize right so once you have made multiple sizes you want to offer the next thing is to come to the share button and click on download and choose the format you want to download the file which will be offering and make sure you to increase this a little bit just to maintain the um clarity of the images when the customers are printing it then you could click download then once you do for all the sizes you could package it into a zip folder and offer it on your Etsy store okay so now that we have um created different sizes the next thing will be to create a mock-up because you could show this in your Etsy store as one of the images but it's good for customers to see how these images will look you know in their homes all right so let's we go to the home page let's change this to pixel so for listing images on etsy they're about 2700 to 225 so create new design it's going to open up a blank canvas for us so what we're going to do next is to look for images of homes that we could use to showcase 
our wall art so we go to elements here and at the top let's just search for living room pictures so it will give us a mock-ups we could use right so let's scroll down and like this i'll click and say set as background bring this down because we need that canvas so let's go to our upload images and then use this so we bring it close so we just try to resize it to fit the canvas okay this is really nice so we just make a copy to the second one okay so let's flip this because we want it to look different so we flip it nice so you could see how this is different from just having it as a standalone picture it gives you um, your customer an idea how this picture will look in their homes so if someone is showing through your listing this is definitely going to draw attention okay so now you have your picture you have your files all set now let's go to the next step of opening your ac store all right now you have all your images um ready you have um your product to sell it's time to open your etsy store so the next thing you have to do is to go to etsy.com to sign in or create an account or forward slash sale but just to draw you a bit of an attention if you go to etsy.com forward slash sale you could click here to get started but before that you could see that each of your listings would cost you um 20 cents usd you might you might think oh it's not so much amount of money but when you start adding multiple listings this starts adding up very very fast so for you to be able to get your first 40 free listings free can they use the link below and use that to sign up for your easy store and your first, your first 40 listings will be free so you click here to get started okay and it will ask you to put in your email um to sign up if you haven't signed up before if you have a google account you could use that so i will just go in and sign into my account because i already have an account created it's just a very simple step it will walk you through um how to just put in your information and your details to set up your account okay so once you set up your account you would see um your shop manager like this okay so you, you are seeing back of my store because i have products already here so what you would do for your listing would be to go at the very top and click add a listing and it's going to have a blank page like this okay so what you would do is to put in the images that you have downloaded from your mock-up to single images so let's just add a couple so you need to make sure that you have all your images added put in description make a couple of images to put in your description so you come down here put in your title your title is very important so based off of the keyword research we have done you need to put in title of what people are searching so when they search they could find you then you go ahead and put in your description you could use um chat gpt to create your description but your description has to be keyworded as well then you go ahead and put in your tags tags are very important even though it says optional tags are what um it uses to make sure that what people are searching for matches your listing so this is very important then you go ahead and put in your price then for digital product because you're dealing with digital products right so let as you're setting it up you could select it says who made this you could say you did then what this is you could say is a finished product when did you make it you could choose um the range of a, a year you made it and then this is where it is very important instead of choosing physical products you choose digital product okay this will give you a link below to upload so you upload the file that your zip folder okay so anytime someone makes a purchase it delivers that zip folder to the customer and the customer can download the file this is how you set up your listing on etsy to start making those sales 
so there you have it so let me know um if you have any questions or any other digital products you'd like for me to cover leave your comments in the comment section and please do not forget to like subscribe to know when i post new videos thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one